Hi guys, in this demo we are going to cover Magellan. Let me get to navigation. Magellan. Magellan is part of the navigation which gives you sticky navbar and plus smooth scrolling to a section, section of your pages, such as this one. Uh, let's say you have top bar navigation. It will smoothly scrolls down there, and uh, for second one, and this top bar may now will be stays sticky. All right, I'm not going to cover this sticky bar, so I want to break down the scroll effect first. In this demo, we are only covering this uh, smooth uh, scrolling effect. Okay, back to foundation framer and as usual I made a guideline here okay now first we have our uh, column section here you can add your unordered list directly into column itself or you can add into container so I prefer a, a container and inside this container I will add my unordered list link. Okay. Now we have this. So we give a class uh, for the UL. Okay. As usual here, the, not the container, UL link. I'm going to give menu. Okay. As soon as we add this menu, we will get a horizontal menu menu and uh, let's say if this uh, site expands it still stays horizontally so what we need to do here we add a class of vertical okay our menu turns to vertical but what about if we need to go to uh, desktop version we would like to have horizontal menu so that can be done easily make sure your this uh, slider is in the mobile first drop uh, breakpoint then we will add uh, I guess should be class uh, let's be check horizontal or yep large horizontal you can you, either you can you add medium or large I prefer here for large okay I add large horizontal it means if any goes to desktops it will displace itself as a horizontal try it out so here we are in a mobile or medium when it goes to large it will get horizontally All right back to our own job here now we have this uh, our menu so i prefer to have three only here for this purpose of demo so next we will add three section add a row and in this row as well i can add three separate row and each of this will be a section in my website I prefer to have it this column I will put it in the section 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 all right now it goes the same again you can add a container here or use the column itself for for the sake of this demo I'm going to use the column itself so give a background color we will know we have a section here For this, like if uh, yellow, for this, we will give um, red, and for this, we will give something like maybe this color. All right, now what we need to do in the section one in the here, I'm going to increase the dimension here and go give. Let's say three hundred 
50 okay and id i'm going to give okay the id is very important for this section we are going to give id because in first section we are going to give first then for the second going to increase the height 350 as well and going to give an id of second and for the third one same i'm going to increase the dimension height and going to give a class of third all right so for each of this section we have to add data magellan target because these are the area we are going to target later on okay for attribute we add data magellan target the value since it's the first section we add first for second section our website this is the ID second. We will add Magellan target and second. For the third one, ID third and that attribute of Magellan target third section. Third ID. Okay. Now back to back to our menu here for the UL we select again back UL not the container for the UL we are going to give data attribute of data Magellan data Magellan okay uh this uh, uh there's no value for here now we have to add our links to this uh, our menus okay we since we had id those sections we have to link them through here for this first section we have id of first for the second menu i'm going to add second for the third one, I'm going to add this. Okay, now let's we check this our job in browser. Okay, now we have our first section, second section, and third section. Uh, should we have smooth scrolling? One, two, three. Okay, hopefully in the future I will make one sticky nav bar like this and with the combination of smooth scrolling and thank you very much for watching